Can you say something? Can you say? Hi. Hi. Perfect. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hello from Denver, Colorado, USA, where I've been part of Optica Quantum 2.0. Of course, there were amazing plenaries, including the three current Nobel Prize winners of physics and many breakout sessions. But one of my favorite bits is to wander the exhibition floor. It's fascinating to find familiar names in photonics exploring the world of quantum. Here is a good example. We are in Denver, Colorado, at Optica Quantum 2.0 conference, and I'm here with Vexlung, the company from Finland bringing vertical external cavity surface emitting lasers to many application fields. But Mirsha Gina, you are at a quantum conference. What problem are you solving for the quantum community? Well, great. So first of all, uh, Jose, nice to, to see you here. Nice to, to be here. It's Denver, it's a very special place for us because Vexlung has roots, first of all, in Tampere, and then that means semiconductor technology, semiconductor lasers. That's what we bring to the, uh, in general, to the community. But our roots also lie very close here in, in, in Boulder, uh, to the NIST group, to Ion Storage uh, Group, where they have uh, showed how important the lasers are for this community. So, uh, in, in simple words, what we bring them, we bring uh, high-powered lasers at uh, frequency, what they need for the ion, that they then have to choose the ion for the laser available, mm -hmm. but they get the laser what they need for their ions. Our mission is to make these lasers, which have very interesting features like wavelengths so, um, uh, on demand, at high power, single frequency operation, low noise, to make it at industrial level. And, and it's great to be here, so I think that uh, to learn uh, basically the fact that that is what the community needs. The lasers uh, able to go to uh, industrial scale. Yesterday we had the end user workshop with, with NASA, with Boeing, telling us about their challenges when it came to semiconductor lasers for their, for their quantum applications. And the, the demand was clear, narrow line width. Yeah. What is the narrowest line width that you can achieve with this laser? Actually, yeah, it is very interesting. So uh, this is uh, what the Vexel looks like. So first of all, it is uh, one laser or one box serving the, the power scaling capability, the uh, wavelengths, uh, what you need from the semiconductor chip, and also the, the intracavity second harmonic generation, which is very essential for, for again, uh, going to wavelengths, which are otherwise very hard to access. When it comes to the narrow line with operation, I think that, yeah, it's maybe the best, uh, I'll have to make it a little bit of advertising for the, for uh, uh, We are next say, to the booth uh, at, of Menlo system. At, at Melo. So, well, actually, uh, they have been locked to subhertz. Uh, sub by, by uh, Yes. Subhertz? By, uh, yes, locking to the, comes from Menlo. So it's, it's, it's a great reference for us. And we have been very pleased with that. How do you lock a laser to subhertz, Daniel? Well, I mean, basically the idea is you have the comb locked, locked subhertz and then you lock the laser to the comb. And so the comb is transferring the stability from a subhertz laser, which is locked typically to a cavity, um, all across the spectrum of the comb. So you can, just, for example, our uh, stabilized lasers are typically at 1542 nanometers, and our combs can transfer that stability all the way down to 600 nanometers. So what problem are we solving with a subhertz narrow line yeah, with that, laser? Yeah, well, I think that it's, uh, um, well, we have heard a lot about what people, where people are using that the, uh, the ion trapping community, the amophysics community, the neutral atoms. So there are the problems in the uh, scaling of the uh, uh, quantum computers <laughs> in the uh, optical clocks. Uh, power is never enough in laser in general, but in this, uh, in this uh, technology, quantum technology, uh, you have, uh, also have to, to, to have the um, very narrow line with operation and low noise operation. It is great to have Vexlum in Optica. Thank you very much, Mirisha. Thank you, and thank you again for organizing this. I think that uh, yeah, I have to really say it loud. I already told you guys. Uh, this event, it has uh, its own niche between the existing events. I, I really like the fact that the, the audience, uh, it's uh, 
I would say, uh, very uh, educated, very targeted, and it was a lot of learning here. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Misha. Thank you. I'm now time to pack the luggage for the next trip. And this is a big one. The most important event of the year for anybody in the photonic industry is Laser World of Photonics Munich. See you at the show.